Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Dana Banana. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell if you would like to see all of my uploads. I don't have an upload schedule. I'm kind of a hot mess, but I've tried to upload at least twice a week. I'm trying to get back into three times a week to keep you guys entertained. So today we are doing a full face of Essence makeup and I'm so excited. If you don't already know, Essence is an extremely inexpensive brand. Uh, it's sold at Ulta. I'm not sure where else it's sold. I believe it is sold in the UK. My UK peeps, please help me out. I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyway, I got a full bag for a full face of Essence makeup. The only thing I could not find was foundation, but I do believe they do sell it. I would probably have to get it online though, but it's okay because for the like concealer and other stuff, I would like to test it on something that I know works. So that way nothing like clashes and I'll really get to see like how, especially how the concealer works. So I even got a couple of brushes to do my eyeshadow with. Um, we've got the full face in here. I'm so excited. I'm not going to talk too much, so let's get right into this. We're going to do the eyes first, and I picked up a eye primer. This is called the Eye Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. <laughs> Looks like that. Looks pretty pigmented, so I have high hopes for this. And then the I've also picked up the Essence B Beautiful Palette. And it looks like this. I'll do some swatches for you guys in a second. And then I just got an eye blender brush. And then a smoky eyes brush. So I'm going to do most of the look with these two brushes. Let me swatch these really quick. I'll go ahead and speed this up just so it doesn't take forever. But I'm just going to swatch them left to right. tell truly once I put them on my eyes but I just kind of wanted to throw that in there just to see how they swatched and I'm pretty impressed so far. What I did was I primed this eye with my P. Louise base and then I'm going to prime this eye with the uh, Essence Primer just so I can you know because I know I like this primer so if something goes wrong on this eye but okay on this eye, then I know it's the shadows. Make sure, you know, I'm giving the shadows a fair shot. It's definitely not as opaque as my P. Louise or my Makeup Revolution base, but we're still gonna give it a shot. That actually did give a pretty, like, good... It's not like super full coverage, but there's definitely some coverage there, so I'm excited now. So I'm gonna speed up the look, but I think I'm just gonna play with... I'm really attracted to these two colors right here, this brown and this like kind of burnt orange shade. And then I'll probably use this taupe up shade on the lid. So, and I'll use the brushes that I chose. Okay, let's just say I am extremely impressed. With the orange shade, I only dipped into it once 
to get it all over my lid extremely pigmented I am in awe right now I was not expecting this outcome like I don't know and then the shimmer the shimmer is beautiful like I love this shimmer and it went on about the same on both eyes so yeah really impressed with this palette really really impressed let's move on to eyeliner this is one I have very high hopes for because I swatched it yesterday on my hand it was so matte and it was very black and it took a whole lot of work to get it off my hand after like a couple of hours it does claim it's a super precise long lasting and waterproof so you guys know I've got leaky eyes and I'm always on the hunt for really good long lasting waterproof eyeliners and mascaras so I'm really excited for this one so let's see how it goes on the eye let's see if it like bleeds or you know because sometimes it kind of like some eyeliners bleed a little bit once I actually put them on my eye we'll see The wand is just like my NYX matte liquid liner, which is one of my favorites. Um, so it's, for me, it's easy to work with. I might do it a little bit thicker. Okay, so this is like one of the most matte liners I've ever used like way more matte than my NYX matte liner so I'm really impressed it's very black super easy to work with and if it lasts like it did on my hands on my eyes I'm going to be obsessed with this I don't know if I've mentioned it yet I will be doing a slight wear test nothing like super long I, I'll try to do it for at least five hours it is already kind of late in the day it's like two or three it's three o'clock yeah it's three o'clock I can last until eight every time I try to do a wear test I get so freaking tired it's like knowing I have to stay up I just it makes me even more tired but I can last until eight for sure now I'm gonna do a mascara I don't think I'm going to put on lashes we'll see how this is if I'm feeling it I won't do lashes but actually I don't think I'm gonna do lashes at all just to you know fully give this a shot and normally I hate fiber mascaras because it's the volume stylist 18 hour lash, lash extension mascara with lengthening fibers but I did open it in store and it didn't look like because most of the uh, fiber ones look like a little fuzzy and it didn't look like that so I was like okay I'll give this one a shot super short lashes so it's not going to be like a huge difference but this is the one with it and this is the one without and there definitely is a difference next I'm going to prime and this is the fresh and fit awake primer healthy glow pour minimizing effect it says with vitamin complex and cranberry water that's interesting looks like that I'm relieved that it doesn't feel like it like silicone-y. I forgot to mention I did my brows off camera because none of my Ulta's had a shade for my brows but I did use my Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. I love that stuff. I've been using that for a while so I already know that I like that and I always use it to set my brows. I feel like it did add like a slight glow to my face. It feels ever so slightly tacky but not really feels my face does feel more smooth so that's nice so for foundation I'm just going to put on my Maybelline Superstay foundation that's like my holy grail for when I'm trying a new concealer or anything like that because I know it works 
no matter what. So I figured I could test it out over this primer and with the concealer, see how it goes. I do feel like it's kind of like a little more slippery than I would like. When a primer is too slippery, I feel like, especially like in my T-zone, my foundation just kind of slips around and then it just ends up looking like super patchy by the end of the day or even after a couple of hours. So we'll see. Okay, let's do concealer. I'm really excited about this one. It's Ultra Covering Liquid Concealer with Matte Finish Covers Instantly. Dark circles, blemishes, and tattoos, long lasting and waterproof. This is what it looks like. The shade range sucks on these. I only saw three shades. This is light rose. Since this is so full coverage, why did I put on so much? I don't know, I'm excessive. Go ahead and immediately blend it out just in case. We don't want it like going crazy face and sticking anywhere. There's something black. Oh, that's nice. That looks really nice. It's definitely nice coverage. I don't think this would cover a tattoo though, but it blends out so easily with this sponge. It might be more full coverage if you blended it out with a brush, probably so, but I have to blend out my concealers with a sponge because my skin under my eyes is way too dry to use a brush. For powder, I got the Brighten Up Banana Powder. Looks like that. Um, now, they did have a couple of other powders and one was the same as a lot of the other products, like 18 plus hours or something like that and waterproof. It was like pure white, so I was like, I was just kind of scared, you know, flashback, I don't know, being waterproof. I was kind of nervous, so I'm just taking it on this fluffy brush. It does seem a little dry, so what I'm going to do really quickly is, really quickly, I also got this Prime Studio HD Hydra Primer St Spray. It's moisturizing and energizing, so before we move on to anything else, any other powders, I'm going to spray this just to see if I can add some moisture back into my face. That actually seemed to add quite a bit of moisture back to my face, so we're thankful for that. For my waterline, I'm using my new favorite pencil liner. It's the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Black Fever. I've been using this for a while, for a couple weeks now. I'm obsessed with it. It lasts all freaking day. It's so black. It stays on my waterline all day. Love. Sorry that I cannot do that on camera. Let's move on to the rest of the face now. This is what I'm kind of nervous about. This is the Luminous Matte Bronzing Powder. They had a few bronzers. All the ones that, so it was either like for lighter skin or deeper skin. And so I got the one for lighter skin. The deeper skin was definitely not for deep skin tones. It was more like orange and I don't know, it just scared me. So I just went with this one. Maybe it's buildable, but it looks like super light. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty light. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, wait. I actually really like this and it's just like a soft bronze but like three more things we're gonna do blush and I'm really excited for this blush I just got back into wearing blush I mean I literally went like two weeks without wearing blush because I'm obsessed with it this is the essence mosaic blush they had a few but this one caught my eye the most it's a just nice looking matte blush Oh, I like this blush. It's like subtle, but it's there and it's matte, which is nice. Okay, for highlighter, I'm super excited for this. I actually, they had a few highlighters. I was going to get a highlighter palette when I originally planned on filming this video, 
but a girl I follow on Instagram here in my city in Baton Rouge, her name is Haley Marie's Vanity. I will link her down below. She was, so every now and then she'll do like an Instagram story where she does her makeup and she was raving about this highlight and it looked amazing on her. And to be honest, when I looked at it in the store, I was like, this is not something I would buy because it looks like super powdery and just like, I don't know, it just doesn't look like it would give me much of a glow, but I swatched it and it was like the most beautiful glowy sheen and that's kind of what she said. She was like, it looks like more of a natural glow, but it looked so good on her. So. It definitely is like a natural glow, but it blends in super easily. It's pleasant. So it's not like a highlighter that's like bam in your face, like most highlighters that I use, but I do think it gives like a nice, like healthy looking glow and I love that. Look at this one on the nose. So last but not least, lips. So this is the Essence Color Boost Mad About Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade, wanna play? So it's like a squeeze tube, but it has a wand and it has this type of wand. My dog just needs her. Bless you. So it's dried down and it feels super like light. It's not sticky. So we'll see how all this lasts after 10 or 10 hours. <laughs> you wish. After about five hours, it's 3.30-ish, yeah, right now. So I'm gonna try to make it to about eight o'clock. Maybe even later, we'll see. I'm back. It's 8.50 now, so it's been a little over five hours. Okay guys, so for some reason, my microphone was not working here and I'm not sure why. I have a built-in microphone. I don't use like an extra one on the side. This literally never happens. But anyway, moral of the story, I really liked almost everything, even after the five hour, five and a half hour wear. I The only thing I was not a huge fan of was the primer and the concealer. The primer was kind of like making the foundation break up on my chin and around my nose and that never happens with this Maybelline foundation. And then the concealer was kind of like caking up right under my eye. I just was not a huge fan of it, but almost everything else I absolutely loved. I'm still so impressed with the eyeshadow palette. The liquid liner I'm still using three days later. I've used it multiple times and it's my new favorite liner. And the pencil liner is also amazing. The blush, bronzer, and highlight lasted all that time on me. And a lot of times blush won't even last like three hours on me. So it's a long lasting blush for my skin. Um, I really like the mascara. It's not going to replace like my Monsieur Big one that's my holy grail but it is a pretty decent mascara for the price and yeah that's about it i'm so sorry this is like so <laughs> this is so weird doing a voiceover i hate voiceovers but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and hit the notifications bell so you can be notified whenever i lo upload upload. I love you guys so much. Bye.